Hi friends, Budget Girl here, and I am back with some monthly budget reports. It's been a hot minute since I did one of these, and it's not because I haven't been budgeting. You'll be able to see over the next couple of videos. I have been. Um, it's just my financial choices have been a lot more diverse than they were back when I was in debt. At the time, it was scrimp, save, and put everything to this one pot of debt repayment and now I have a lot more pools that I'm putting into. I'm trying to save up for a lot of future things and also improve my quality of life a little more by increasing a few categories and I'll show you everything in here but I just don't want you to think that I haven't been budgeting because I certainly have or that I haven't been reconciling because I have. I just honestly haven't been that motivated to share with you for fear that I'm going to be judged for my new choices in spending money and I'm not ashamed to say that you know sometimes the internet can be a little bit of a mean place uh, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't keep putting it out there because I'm not doing anything wrong and you guys have told me that these budget reports are motivating to you um, whether you're in a similar type of income expense ratio or whether because you have been in my place or you want to be in my place with how I'm able to spend my money now so I want to keep doing that for you and I'm going to commit to doing these for at least the rest of the year we will see how it goes so with that let's go ahead and jump into the budget so up here my um, my paycheck and everything was the same I did have a hundred dollar deduction for rent I uh, had my air conditioning unit replaced and there was an overage that the apartment covered with a rent allocation for the amount that the air conditioner had kind of gone crazy. I also went to a wedding in Tennessee in April, which was so much fun. I got to be a bridesmaid for my friend Kat. It was really a gorgeous wedding, and I had so much fun there. Also, as we know, April was tax month, and I owed money in taxes, which I expected. I, um, With my normal job, taxes are taken out every month, but for my personal business, Budget Girl, I don't pay quarterly estimated taxes right now. I just save up a little bit of money and I then pay it at the end of the year. So I owed a little over $800 in taxes, which was not a problem at all. I had the money set aside and saved. I also had to get a new tax person because my old tax person and Mina, I just didn't really want to do the whole like scanning documents and sending them far away thing. I know it can be done very safely, but I prefer to work with someone in person. So I got a wonderful new tax person who uh, charged me $350 for his services, but you know what? He was completely worth it. Um, he is very knowledgeable about internet businesses and what can be taken and what can't be taken out in deductions, so I'm looking forward to working with him in the future. So I uh, even have dedicated here how much was of his fee could be deducted for budget row expenses and how much was for regular. So, and I have how I saved up here. I ended up putting back some money in February and March, and I had to pull some money from this month to pay that. So, there we go. I also upped my personal budget $50 this month, and I upped my medical sinking fund $50 this month. Um, and I pulled that from the fully funded emergency fund fund. And I also started a new sinking fund for a couch slash car. And I've been talking for a while, and I wanted to get a new kind of grown up couch as a reward for finishing baby step three. And that is on its way. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show. Guys, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. So I started saving for it back in April. And, and now that it is August, it is on its way. I might have taken a really long time to decide what I wanted. But when you're going to spend, you know, probably around $2,000, which is what the goal for the sinking fund was, on a new couch. And I'm not saying you should spend $2,000 on a new couch. What I'm saying is that that is how much I decided to dedicate to this. And for the style and the quality of couch that I wanted, that is how much I wanted to spend on this. So if all of my couches previous to this have been Craigslist couches, which there's nothing wrong with them. There have been some wonderful, wonderful Craigslist couches. My little pretty blue one that I've had for years. I got off of Craigslist for $100, um, and it served me very, very, very well. But now that I'm debt free, I get to actually have like a really nice grown-up couch that I'm so excited about, and it's going to be perfect for this stage of my life. So 
That's coming. I'll tell you more about it soon. So excited. So excited. Okay. So let's get back to this month's budget. Um, rent and everything were pretty normal. Looks like I went $50 over on groceries. Um, let's see. I was, oh, here I was way over on gas, but that's because I drove to a wedding. Jacob went with me. So we drove all the way to Memphis, which is supposed to be a 10 hour drive, but it took us about 13 because I pee a lot. TMI. I know we're on the internet, but I have to, I have to stop so often, <laughs> stretch my legs, get water, pee. The second thing could have been the reason I have to stop and pee so much. It's okay. <laughs> you learn more about people when you road trip with them. It's super fun. So, um, restaurant, obviously I also was over by about a hundred dollars. This mostly involved eating out when I was in Memphis for the weekend. So I was prepared for that. I didn't count it that into that or the gas into the money I was spending on the wedding. I have a list down below of that, how much it costs for my bridesmaid's dress, etc. This was just, I figured I could absolve it into my regular monthly budget, which I did. So, um, let's see personal. I was $50 over and everything else was fine. So, um, so you can see groceries here, not bad, just a little over for the month and restaurant, blah, blah, blah. You can see, I went to a place called Oshi in Memphis. That was amazing. It was like a Asian fusion type restaurant. And we went to a really famous Memphis cheesecake place where the slices were ten dollars each, and we got one for myself, for Jacob, and for Jamie. It was a it was a really it was a really fantastic trip. I really enjoyed it. I'll uh, share pictures from that soon because I'm still planning on doing a how much being a bridesmaid has cost me video in the future. So excuse me. All right. So I spent over here a little over twenty one dollars on bachelorette decorations. Didn't have a bachelorette party. It was a wedding. So much fun. My college roommate, Kat. Uh, we lived together for three years in school and then for a couple of years after we graduated. So we have been friends for a long, long time. All right. And I got some stuff at TJ Maxx. Uh, let's see. Gift baskets. All right, I brought her to Petco. Got her nails trimmed. I got some sneakers and a new bra for the wedding, and I bought a pillow at Home Goods. Um, oh, we went to the Memphis Zoo. It was so much fun. And I, um, as a little birthday present to Sweet Ryan, Jamie's son, I got him a stroller. That was really amazing. If you ever get the opportunity to go to the Memphis Zoo, please do. And go to the Stingray exhibit because it started my obsession with stingrays. I love them. They're so sweet. They're like little water puppies. I'm obsessed. I love them. I absolutely love them. I really, really do. So, um, and over here, as you can see, a lot of money on gas. I also had to get an oil change and new filters before I left because long, long trip to, to Memphis. So over here, wedding expenses. This is from previous months and from this month, but it cost me out $325. This was getting my nails done, a new bra, some, um, all of the gas and travel for my car. This was my bridesmaid dress, which I got off of Etsy, um, decor for the bachelorette. Um, I got some water bottles with everyone's name inscribed on them. Once again, from Etsy for the girls that were attending, it was just really, really fun. So, um, I also earned $694 and 97 cents from budget girl this month. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, and here's, I guess it's a good time to say, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more budget reports. And if you want to see that, how much it cost me to be a bridesmaid, because I've been a bridesmaid three times in the last few years. Yeah. Whew. All right. And let's see this month I bought productivity boot camp, which I'm hoping will really improve some stuff in the future. That's a Jordan page fun, cheap or free thing she did. Um, she's a really, I love her website. I love her YouTube channel. Uh, she's been a big inspiration to me. So I'm hoping that I want to support her. And also I was hoping that I can learn some of her tips. Also, um, tax prep here, giveaway bags. Um, I had to renew my mailbox and I did the, of this 339 went to tax savings for uh, this month. So there was no extra. This month was on the budget, but as you can see, I spent, I had a lot of fun in August. So there's that. 
I earned uh, $10 from an old referral program. I earned $96 from a sponsored video insert. I did some money coaching and I earned $150 from that. And a Glasses USA, love them, paid me for a sponsored video they did. They sponsored the Frugal Fun and Free Favorites video, which you guys always seem to like. And I like it because that gives me the funds and the opportunity to like send out these giant boxes full of really cool stuff for you guys and give away a bunch of pairs of glasses. And it's just so much fun for me. So, um, and after all that was over, I sent my $500 regular savings and uh, the additional income that I had, $693, to my new sinking fund, which is for a couch slash eventually for a new car. I'm not planning on getting rid of my car anytime super soon, but eventually I will need a new car. It's one of those things, eventually you're going to need a new laptop, eventually you're going to need a new cell phone, eventually you're going to need a new car. And there's no reason to finance any of these things because you know they're coming. So this is me saving for a new car because mine will eventually give up. I'll want to switch up so that I don't have to pay a ton of repair fees in the future. Fortunately right now, Ladybug is doing very good but I'm trying to prepare for the future as much as possible. So that was my April budget wrap up. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or tell me down below if you have any questions on anything or if you want me to, how you want me to roll out these next couple of days. Do you want me to do like a combo, maybe like May, June, July, August vid? It takes me a minute to kind of walk you through all of my expenses. Do you want me to do more of an overview? type thing or get down into the details like I did here. Let me know what is helpful to you because that's why I make these videos. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.